What does your life look like after music? Can you see that? Can you see what that looks like? And what does it look like if you can see it, basically? <laughs> oh man, Alpha doesn't play games with questions, boy. Jeez. The first thing that sort of came to mind was like being like Jack Black in School of Rock. I can't imagine when my son gets older, I would love to like go to the primary school and do the music class or something. I can imagine that would be fun. <clears throat> For me, it's identity that plays a massive part in that and like who am I without music if you've grown up sort of in the environment I've grown up in there's people that have put down their dreams every day we're very lucky to be in a position that we can live off of doing this and I walked in and there was this girl with headphones on and she was just spin, spinning around dancing in the middle of the lobby <laughs> and I was like see this is what I mean in a massive black trench coat with like big sunglasses on and she just didn't this was just her, how she is. Yeah, that's so, what I mean, she's living yeah. her best she's life. A, she's, she's doing her thing. She's a proper artist. Hello. 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 And welcome to the Are We Live podcast with me, Alpha. Me, Jordan. <laughs> me, Barney. If it's your first time here, thanks for being here. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. Uh, this is the Are We Live podcast, and this is a special type of show where we do a song and a question. It's our song and a question series where one of us brings a song and then has a question um, that's tied to it, and then we talk about that for a little bit. Um, hope everyone's doing all right. Yeah. New week, new, new episode. New week, new me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Isn't it new, new week, same us? Isn't that something? Anyway. <laughs> Wait, this is a good start. Great start. New, new week, different toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I'm sitting in the hot seat this week. Um, so it's my turn. And yeah, we're going to get into my song. And here we go. So yeah, that was the first track off of Carlos Dino's album, more energy fields current um i played that uh mostly because i didn't feel like playing uh, an andre 3000 track from the new, <laughs> new album. but carlos nino had a hand in that album uh produced a few of the tracks i'm not sh sure which one but i know he had a hand in the making of that album uh but i really want to talk about um life after music Oof. basically so my official question mm -hmm. is something to do with what does your life look like after music? Can you see that? Can you see what that looks like? And what does it look like if you can see it, basically? <laughs> oh, man. Alpha doesn't play games with questions, boy. Jeez. Um, my brain immediately goes to what was my life before music? Yeah. So in context, of the reason I say Andre 3000 is because it's not really life after music because he's now playing the flute he's now it's still music but it's just another vehicle it's just something else he was doing uh than he was doing before mm -hmm. he was rapping the whole time and now he's playing the flute he feels like it's a i, I don't know he's grown up mm -hmm. and grown sort of past what he was doing before mm -hmm. now he's in a new stage where he's playing the flute so it's still in music so the question could be mm -hmm. for all of us it could just you know, it could be another instrument, it could be another facet of music, but just life after what you're doing right now, which mm. you define as music, what, what does that look like? Or can you even see it? Yeah, I mean... The, I, I think de definitely, like, as my career, as I get into my 40s and 50s, I'll probably be no... Stop touring, maybe be the studio guy, but I sort of... When you first asked that question, the first thing that sort of came to mind was, like, being, like, Jack Black in School of Rock. Like, <laughs> I imagine I would be like a teacher mm. or something, like a fun teacher that sort of teaches in a weird way, mm. like giving back or like running some sort of music, you know, weekend school or something. That would be sort of what mm. I can imagine. It would probably still be in music. Is it because um, you can't see yourself or wait? Is it like so attached to you that you're like, even if yeah, I'll figure out a way to still do yeah, it? Yeah, like I can't imagine being like running an art gallery or like running a coffee shop or something. I think it'd be more like owning a building that had 10 studios in it. <laughs> this what, is, is like that, a is that, dream. That, is, and that's not because of 
lack of capability. You could if you wanted to. It's more so you wouldn't want to. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think I just love the people that want to be in music. They're like aspirational. You sort of want to, if I stop being the musician, I'd probably still want to work with people in that way or just music in that. Because you, like if it's teaching kids really basic songs, mm. you can see it's fun for them. Or if it's like running a studio, it's probably like you're helping people realize their vision making an album or whatever but i think it'd probably be that the, the giving back thing Do let's let's say the rule is you're not allowed to work in music like mm -hmm. um i if if it's after that because i imagine hopefully in my career i'd be like writing for film or producing mm -hmm. more or having a studio and writing more but if it's after that it'd be still you know an element of like cons i don't know consultation i don't know like mm. teaching or something do you think you do any level of teaching right now like is there an interest to teaching specifically or sharing knowledge like do you do any of that in your everyday like is that like your production approach because there's some um people in sort of the music industry there's a few ways to approach it some people would rather be like a magician where they don't show how they do things mm. and mm. they just want to be a maverick and they just they don't show you everything, but they just produce stuff and do stuff. Whereas like if you're in a session with someone and someone asks you what you're doing, you might stop for a few minutes and go, oh, the way this works is this. You're essentially making your job less sort of necessary yeah. by sharing the knowledge yeah, 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 of what yeah, yeah. you're doing. But that might come natural to you. Do you feel like you do that? Or do yeah, you just... I do do that. I like, I like doing that. Like, yeah, re breaking the... Bar breaking the um, what's this fourth walls? Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, about yeah. It. like basically, you know, I even did years ago. I did this like live on the spot beat making thing where I was doing my tricks and stuff. That's true. And yeah. um, people were like, you know, they took their tricks because in my when I was doing that at the time, I think it was like a confidence thing. But I was like, if everyone had the exact same skill set, Is then what could you make? Yeah. Like if you were no longer barriered up by a I'm so slow on logic or I don't know how to do MIDI. Like if we all knew how to do that, then how, what music would you make and, and you make? Um, but I think it's, I, I can imagine when my son gets older, I would love to like go to the primary school and do the music class or something. I can imagine that would be fun. I think for me, it's identity. That plays a, plays a massive part in that. And like, who am I without music? And what do I do without music? That's kind of my question. Yeah. I was going to bring like a, I was going to create a situation where, you know, your voice box is done. Yeah, and done, yeah. And or you lost your, yeah. you lost your, yeah. like you lose your ability yeah. for music. Or your ears just yeah, lose pitch. Goes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. That does happen. But I, I kind of want, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be like, you still have the peak of your, you can do it. Do the stuff. Which makes it more crippling. Exactly. It kind of Yeah, because like, you can blame, you can blame if your ears don't work or if you're whatever, you can kind of blame that and resent that thing happening for you to not be able to do your job. Yeah. But I suppose if you still have the thing and decide not to, or you can't do it, then it changes even more. Then it, it can be more brutal. I think, I, yeah, I think identity, man, would fry me. I don't know. So you think you basically, you're struggling to see what you would do because you don't know who you would be. Well, yeah, I, th I, th I think it's such a... Um, but the older I get, and it's like it's like anything in it. The longer you kind of in something, <clears throat> the more it makes up your your entity and who, what you do, and how you think, and how you <clears throat> right. It's an outlet, yeah. and so I'd really struggle with like, <clears throat> yeah, like who am I? What do I do? Am I fulfilled? Why am I? Why am I not doing it? Um, and I think especially because of the way that we've made music, us guys, like. I think the more I've kind of like, you know, I've moved country, do you know what I'm saying? I'm away from London and I've kind of looked back on my life a lot more. Yeah. And I've realised how ridiculous our group of people around us have been in regards to just like making music, releasing music, doing shows, all of that kind of is centred around our lives for the last decade, right? So I'm kind of going... If that goes, what does what, life look like? Yeah, like what do I... Um, what do I do? But you've always talked about Re, yeah, not reskill it, but like doing, doing other different things. things. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but, but, I, but I think that's out of choice. I think there's one thing of like leaving music because you what you're doing other things. I think music will never leave me ever in regards to like me doing it. But I think I want to do other things as I'm doing other things. 
But I think what Alpha's asking is very specific about not being able to do it. Yeah, so I'm basically, so if I create a situation that, you know, your voice box ain't crushed or nothing, but let's compare it as if, let's say you're in a different line of work teaching or whatever you do and you get a forced retirement. Yeah. I don't know what the word is for that, actually, the phrase is for that, mm -hmm. but you redundant. know when like, yeah, made yeah. redundant. Let's yeah. say you get made redundant for music. Yeah. So you have your pension, you've got, you don't have to worry about, oh, where do I make money? Right. Oh. But <laughs> you just can't make music because you've got a forced redundancy. Do you know what I mean? So then what do you, can you see yourself just not being senile and just kind of just what, like- for, what, what would you do? Yeah. For me, I've got a few things that I'm interested in yeah. that, but they're still to do with music. For example, I do like, um, there's like, psychology experiments I want to conduct for example like a, mm. to see how music affects like how vibrations of music affect the human body and stuff mm. like that I want to know how like music or sound of affects people's moods affects people's emotions and whether it does because I know that it does in my opinion but I want to I want to prove yeah. that yeah. it does and exactly <clears throat> how it does mm. and then just to know I don't even care to help society with that if I'm being honest, yeah. like, <laughs> like just myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pretty curious. Um, and yeah. What just, about identity? What, right, do you... The thing is with me, I'm just alpha in it. So in whatever situation, like music is something I'm into. I like music. I like making music. It doesn't define who I am though. It might do to my family members. It might do to, um, you know, people around me, alpha, the musician or whatever it is in the industry. But, I'm just kind of alpha, like to mm -hmm. me, like I can only feel what I can feel. I'm kind of just in my skin and it's just about what I'm doing outside of myself. So who knows, I might, cause I can't paint or whatever. I can't do um, that stuff right now, mm. but you know, with YouTube, tutorial, I'll just do it again. I'll just yeah. go YouTube tutorials. Yeah, just figure it out. Again. I'll probably, I could write stories and stuff like that. There's gonna be stuff, there's stuff I'm interested in, for example, like, um, I'm interested in stories, for example, like now I, I am anyway. Like um, writing. Yeah. Like writing, um, or just not even writing. I don't actually like writing, but just Concept composing, yeah. conceptualizing mm. like, things. Yeah, yeah. Like Concept, yeah. Yeah. coming up with a plot. So yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, so this isn't this isn't really about looking away your creative your creativity. Yeah, it's, just music. it's just about it's just music. life after music. I can see it. I can see it. Um I something would be missing, but I'd probably channel it, the creativity some other way and do something else with it. Um, like I said, maybe the novel thing, maybe the, but I wouldn't choose to, like, it's not realistic for me. I said, not, music not being in your life. Yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not realistic, but I can. You can do it. Basically, because yeah. needs must, innit? Needs must. And if you've grown up sort of in the environment, I've grown up in, there's, pe there's people that have put down their dreams every day. Do you yeah. know what I mean? There's people that can't do <laughs> what they want to do just every day that they have to give up on something yeah. and then they still have to make it work. They still <coughs> have to, they still have to find like something interesting to do or something they want to do or do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, but why, but why is it not seen like a carpenter? If a carpenter has been a carpenter for 25 years or a decade, it, they're, and they make money from selling their product, I suppose I'm going, why is it that like with music, because I suppose dream is a really interesting word. And I think like dream, we're very lucky to be in a position that we can live off of doing this, right? Extremely lucky. If you look at percentages in the world, already yeah. living in this country or in the, yeah. like, it's already all in the 1%, like you're already like in globally. Then in amongst that, we're now another level where it's like, we're doing stuff like playing music and people want to hear it and stuff and travel, all that kind of stuff. But I suppose at the same time is that the amount of dedication and sacrifice that we've made to this thing. But that's what I'm saying. Like you said, we're lucky. So what what I'm really asking is if this is the 12 year old that wants to be a football player, then breaks their leg at 15 yeah, and can't do it. Yeah. Their dream is done straight away. So yeah. what does that 15 year old do for the rest of their life? They have yeah. a whole life. So it's not really a pensioner question that was more so to yeah, try and yeah but I it's feel, more so yeah if your dream because we're living a dream basically yeah aren't we like doing music doing the stuff we want to do but life after that i don't know i guess like j cole said before like mm. 
you kind of got to be delusional to a point where this is what my life is. I can't really see it. Yeah. Life Because if I do, then, then there's doubt. And if because there's if doubt, I do, then it could come. Maybe the reason we are where we are is because there wasn't really ever any doubt. There's doubt in maybe ability wise, but in terms of like us, there's no doubt in terms of maybe I should stop this. Maybe I should give up. Maybe I should do uh, like, mm. there's something that's driven us to have not stopped. After is that, is that, is that resilience? But is that, isn't that also just like <clears throat> environment? I think like what I'm realizing in Switzerland, I've moved to Switzerland, but what I'm realizing is that like where the way that we grew up with each other, right? Over this last decade, even just having other people do what you do doesn't make you feel crazy. And it's normalized, like because everyone kind of does it. Yeah. And so when I went to Switzerland, I'm talking to people and they're like, it, it doesn't seem realistic because it's not around. And I suppose like even that's a bit is also in my environment to, for it to be nurtured and for it to be growing. Like I think for me, having peers helped me just carry on doing it because it's around. It's yeah. like I, it's not unrealistic. I'm seeing it around and also like. If one of my friends does something, they can bring back information to me and be like, oh, maybe try it that way. Or that person works with that person and it kind of like spreads and grows. So like, I think also that's a big thing for me is like, even with identity, like my friendships and my relationships have like starting point, some of them is music. Yeah. And so I'm like. That's interesting. Yeah. Because well, I would, would have. Would you lose yeah. some communication well it's not I, well, I, th I think that's whatever I think that happens in life in regardless you make friends you lose friends yeah I'm saying that like I think that you you are made up the idea of what a you is like self is usually made up of the you's around you does that make sense yeah. like it's kind of made up of like the five chimp theory right yeah. yeah it's like you are made up of these people that you spend a lot of time with that you you know interact with yeah. and that kind of forms because it's all reactionary like we us as humans it's all reactionary we're just reacting with other human beings we're interacting with other human beings and so that kind of makes you up so i'm kind of saying that like i suppose my identity is in that that's interesting because <clears> like I, I'm kind of the opposite in a bit because I, in a way, because I've found more, way more resistance um, to the way I want to do things from outside forces and from people that's not me, basically. Mm. In life, I've found way more people not understanding because it's untrodden, what I want to do. Because it's an untrodden path. Well, it's trodden by someone, but I didn't have, it's not trodden by everyone all around me. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So You're like an outlier in yeah. your... Or just in, in terms of what I want to do, we might all be musicians, but certain things I want to do. Yeah. Or, or I, want I may I want spend to. time with other family members who are not musicians and things like that. So the majority of people around me don't really get what I'm doing, but just kind of hope that it goes well for me. But like, I don't really get what you're doing, but cool, do your thing. So that's kind of formed my identity more. It's like, oh, I am just me. No one really understands, but... Did that help? Yeah, yeah, because it, and it's helped to the point where, like I said, I feel like I'm just me. And even if music, music does, the fact, like I love music sort of more than anything else. But if you take away the music, I'm quite confident in who I am right, yeah. as a person mm -hmm. now that it's just like, well, even if I'm seen as this sort of musician, that's, that's you know, not all I can Do you know what's really more. interesting is whenever I meet new people, um, like I moved out of London recently, like been meeting these people like a coffee shop or something like that. Yeah. Um, I go as long as I can without, oh, well, I don't say anyone, but yeah, I'm a same, musician. Same. And it's so nice to be seen as a person yeah. because, you know, you're cause similar yeah. to you, especially moving to London. I was starting my career. So everyone I met was through um, music. Yeah. And so like you meet this person yeah, I mean, obviously, British, classic British, oh, nice weather, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, and then, like, you, it's like a challenge to myself. I'm like... How long can I go? How how long... How can I live up to my personality carrying me rather hmm. than the the identity? Like, everyone meets me now. Even sometimes, very rarely, I get recognised somewhere on the tube or something in London. And, like, it's obviously amazing because someone likes you straight away because mm. they're a fan of you. But it's a weird thing I have in my head is like I haven't proven myself to mm. you yet. They like me. You just like me straight away, and yeah. this is uh, that's the artist. I'm like a person beneath it. So do you separate the two guys? Do you, do you separate? Is Jordan Rakai the artist and Jordan? Rakai definitely. The I mean, people people meet me, 
and they're like, what the fuck? This guy's super weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, everyone knows that. I'm a weird person. But um, I definitely think I'm different. Like, I'm not an artist personality. But, What's um, that mean? Well, this, this is hard to explain, but the artiste with an E with a little dash in it. <laughs> um, if, is there a triangle or is it like a full stop something? Um, but like you go to these festivals mm. backstage with a shared artist and you can just tell the mm. people that dress a certain way embody this sort of like ethos. Like, And my band and me and um, lots of people I know actually are just very normal people. No, we're normal people yeah and then they also at the same time are quite good at music and they make music and play on big stages or whatever but they're just very normal down-to-earth people and so when i meet someone in public and i'm just a normal guy um it makes me realize like i can be a non-musician yeah. and so that links to your question of like what is life afterwards i think it'd be fine on a social like your thing of yeah. identity i think i'll yeah. be fine yeah. it'd be more just trying to the workaholic side of thing being like what do i do you know well I, I think that's what i mean i think with identity i think also like i treat music very much as a therapeutic thing yeah like sometimes i figure out how i feel through making it as yeah. in like sometimes it helps me really figure out how i am and where i am and what's going on so i yeah. think identity also plays into like yeah how would i who am I? And I think, yeah, the, the normal thing is fine. It's funny that normal thing. I remember like we had conversations in, in past episodes about like having a thing. Remember that you were speaking about like not having a thing. You were like, I don't have a thing. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, these other people, other artists might have a thing or a persona or whatever. I don't yeah. have one. And I'm like, I suppose it's the trade off, right? The trade off is that like you sometimes live in a delusional land that might make them feel like these artists feel like uh, they have to be this way to one, maybe to protect themselves because they don't feel like they're cool enough or they're enough. If they don't have this mask of like, I'm the artist, I need to do something to like make it magical and like whatever. And I suppose you telling people the information of like, this is how you produce this thing and whatever is because you've realized that you can have all the information, all the skill sets or whatever, but the music itself, that's what it is. Like you can have all the skill set. It doesn't equate to it sounding yeah good or it resonating it's not about the knowledge sometimes it's not about the magic it's just like yeah circumstances time and approach and yeah. so i suppose even the idea of normal is interesting like cause i've definitely experienced that where you, yeah, you meet somebody and they're like in the, in artist mo artist mode yeah um or some people are just people isn't it some people like you know they have their crystals and they <laughs> they have their thing where everyone's got an aura or they have their thing do you know what i mean mm. yeah some, some people are literally like that's so not everyone's putting that sort of stuff on some people are quite yeah naturally quite spiritual that's in true. a way that's that, what i that's mean true. yeah in those true. people are the like, real uh, yeah in a way not that real but, <laughs> but like i mean real Different. yeah they're, just, how they they're feel. the artists that people look at and go like wow you're a spec you're like an entity you're like an enigma yeah i think it's a it's interesting. I think maybe the the question is more who else are you? Because yeah. we're obviously defined right, okay. by our music and sort of who we are. That's become part of our identity because that's what most of the day or most of our working days or whatever you want to call it, that's what we do. But is that just a facet of what you are, who you are? Do you embody it? And if you embody it, that means like we're sitting here and I I, I know these people, we're sitting here and like someone's fire alarm goes off and they're like, <laughs> that could be a beat. Like, there's just like, <laughs> there's, there's like everything is just yeah. music 24 yeah. seven. Like, I, we I, went I went into like a, a building the other day, like where it's a whole building with each floor is like a different record label. And yeah. there's like artists in the lobby. Yeah. And I walked in and there was this girl with headphones on and she was just spin, spinning around dancing in the middle of the lobby. <laughs> And I was like, see, this is what I mean. And a massive black trench coat with like big sunglasses on. And she just didn't, this was just her, how she is. Yeah, so I mean, she's she living her best she's life. Just, she's doing she's her a thing. a proper artist. But if and, it, um, like, aren't you, I don't know. But is that confidence though? Is that because one, she might have sold some records or she It's just have, what music she... means to you, isn't it? Like I've, I, if I'm walking on my own, I've got headphones on. Yeah. And I'm just a, like, well, I, I don't think I'm normal. Let's Let's put that. Let's put that to bed. I don't think I'm normal, right. but what I'm not is over the top creative in that way. For the way. sake of it. Not even for the sake of it. I don't even know if I'm over the top 
creative. I just think the way I absorb music is maybe different to like like I could listen to the same song for a week. Do you know what I mean? On on loop, walking. <laughs> yeah. I listen to the same song. If I'm on the like if I'm a like on the train yeah, station platform, like, <laughs> like I just absorb music. I yeah. like, absorb music differently. I don't. I just don't tell everyone about it. Like oh Why not? man, because it's a very internal. Personal thing. It's very internal, isn't it? And it doesn't really. I can't. I can't profess to know how you take in music. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. So, but yeah. On that note, I think you guys heard this. We have the liver coming. The C sharp of the doorbell <laughs> um, so yes. means our food's here. So we're trying to plan life after this podcast. <laughs> so the reality is the reality is um, But yeah, life after music. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're gonna eat. Um, have a good one. <laughs> Peace. Peace out.